Okay, so is this a pretty stupid idea? Probably. Is this gonna be amazing if it works? Definitely. Well, one benefits of not sleeping so well is getting to catch this beautiful sunrise. It was raining in and out the whole night and there's still a little bit of rain but the sky is gorgeous. Yeah, first night in the van. Uh, didn't sleep all that well. It was way too hot in here. Also, every time it would rain, it would come right in our window, in our other window. So, yeah, we just, we got some problems to figure out. Definitely a very non-Thai breakfast. And while Josh is cooking, I'm gonna clean up in here. It's a little messy and change it from bed to day mode. Still wet? Wet. <laughs> yeah, we're packing up just in time for the sun to come out. That's pretty here. Day two. I wrote again. Here we go. Man, it is sweaty today. Uh, sad to leave this beautiful campground. I feel like we didn't get to see any of it because of mm. how much uh, we were just <laughs> running around like chickens with our head cut off yesterday. But today we have a little bit more of a plan. Find out that booking stuff ahead is very important right now. So that's exactly what we did. I feel a little bit more confident about this whole part of the job. Yeah. Uh, I feel like we're not seeing a lot of Australia yet because we're just so busy trying to figure out this part of it. As in like, how do we camp? How do we book sites? How do we do things like that? Uh, we also got to do a lot of shopping today. We realized that uh, it's going to be way too hot to live in this van without some sort of fan technology. Okay, you got this, I believe. way too far ahead. Let's see how uh, expensive and terrible this is about to be. Putting things away so they don't make bonk bonk sounds. <laughs> well, we've already spent $121 today. It's like 10 a.m. Where are your shoes? <laughs> oh yeah. I saw a bunch of people walk in there without shoes on, so I figured I don't need them either. We need your help. We need your help bad. So we're pretty bored of our current music selection, and we're realizing that it's not really the right thing for an Australian road trip. So we need your help to please give us some recommendations of whatever you think would be the perfect song so we can make the perfect Australian road trip playlist. We'll put it all together at the end and make sure that we send it to y'all and share it, but we already got a couple of good recommendations, but we need more, we need more. Please help us. So we're in Bunnings, which is like a Menards or a Home Depot, same, same thing. And we are trying to find a fan for our van, uh, the van fan, fan for the van. I wish. Okay, Bunnings did not have what we're looking for, so now we're heading over to this place called uh, Anaconda. <laughs> Very aggressive branding. This is it. 48 bucks. Sheesh, not cheap, huh? I think it's worth it. I think we should get this one. This is the oh. kind of easiest to install. And it moves so much air. I just don't know. It's the same know. price as the other one. I just don't know. Okay, so is this a pretty stupid idea? Probably. Is this gonna be amazing if it works? Definitely. Look at what we got. It's a ceiling fan. <laughs> well, yeah, that'll work. Yeah, and I think we're, we'll see. We'll see if it holds. I'm gonna learn how to tie it. The world's strongest knot, the Palomar. Maybe. And maybe go through it again. You know, pull it as tight as you can without pulling it out of the ceiling. 
pretty, what do you think? Give it a tug. Yeah. Is that pretty strong? Pretty strong. Okay. Now I just gotta finish up this. Is that a buttering hang? It's the best I got. Uh, I've never been this close to a fan before. Okay. Right. Yeah. Let her hang. How's that looking? It's pretty good. Definitely lower than I thought it would be. Look at those baby alligator cla clam clamps. <laughs> Clamps, clamps, clamps. So that can't work. So we fire the hole. <gasps> wow. Oh, that's a lot of air. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Never seen you so happy. This is so cool. We have a ceiling fan. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. It took us a little longer than we thought to install that thing. But uh, totally worth it. I guess we're going to find out tonight if it was totally worth <laughs> it. We still have an hour and a half to the campground. First, though. Harry's Cafe de Wheels. This is one of the first recommendations that we got. Yes. Immediately upon getting here, people were like, you gotta go there, so. Getting some meat pies. Getting some meat pies. Not 7-Eleven. No. Just seeing this is making me wish that we had more time to hang out here. Yeah. We unfortunately got to drive all the way up to the National Park, hour and a half from where we are right now, so. Uh, we gotta start getting up earlier, or going slower. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We have such a long drive all the way to Cairns, but. We're gonna be spending all day in the car. That's gonna kind of suck, right? Like we gotta. We've done that before. Yeah, yeah, we have made that mistake. Ah! <laughs> this is definitely, definitely my kind of restaurant. There's pie with some spicy sauce on top. Whatever their homemade spice sauce is. Oh yeah, I know I'm a heathen. I just eat the whole thing with my hands. But welcome to Backlit Theater. I just love how like long marinated this stuff in this is, and how nice the like actual pie crust is. It's so like, it's so savory, well put together. It's got the spicy sauce, obviously, that I put on top of it. The beef is really good. It feels like it's been marinating all day. It's yeah. not nearly as crazy dry as the 7-Eleven pies that we had a couple days ago. Those things just. All the moisture right out of you. It looks like they serve like 20 different kinds of pies here. So what kind should we try next? Uh, we've been kind of conservative with our pie choices so far, I'll admit. Of course, we got to get Tim's Tams. Despite the uh, gloominess of the weather that it's been this way since we got here, this is a really nice place. Yeah. We're going to have to come back sometime. For now, we are hopping back in the van driving another hour and a half, maybe two hours, and hopefully making it to our campground before they close. So we're driving through this town called Tea Gardens here, and it's so cute and beautiful. This whole neighborhood, it reminds me of Hawaii in Kailua. Yeah, we made we it to made our campground. It. It's beautiful here. Very jungly, your window is still open. There's so much to think about when you turn it off one of these things. A lot of steps. Okay. You need a vehicle. Status update, still raining. Guess that makes sense. We are literally in a rainforest. It is uh, so beautiful though. <laughs> it is though. amazing out here. It's very tropical. Yeah, it always feels so nice and relaxing to actually make it to the campsite after a full day of driving. It smells really good. It smells like eucalyptus. Wow. We've clearly got a long way to go before we're National Geographic. Careful, watch your head. Oh, wow. That's pretty great. That's I so say. nice. That <laughs> Do that. I'm just, I'm, we're gonna hit our head on it at some point. It doesn't hurt. Every camper van needs a fan. It just does. Every single one. And when it doesn't come with one, you DIY it. That's right. I feel particularly proud about this one. Yeah. We did it ourselves. Well, we didn't have to change anything about the van. Nope. I just saw a dingo out here. He just ran past a second ago. Those things are way bigger than I thought they would be. Mmm scary out here. I think we've got this like van life thing 
good now. And I'm sure I'm not gonna regret saying that at all tomorrow or the day after, but I didn't even kill the van once today. Oh wait, did I? I only killed the van once today. <laughs> and I think honestly, in a lot of ways, this is a really good sign for us in that like we took on an entirely new thing Driving a camper van in a foreign country, in a car that basically wants to kill itself as often as possible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blaming the car, right? Just like, <laughs> right? Just like everybody who's any good at anything, as soon as uh, it goes wrong, you're like, oh, is this a regulation tennis court? Oh my God. <laughs> is this a regulation tennis ball? This car must be bad. <laughs> this is why I'm not sure how much of a difference at all preparing for any of this would have done. I don't think any more preparation would have helped. All this would have still been hard and new and interesting and exciting and hopefully at least at a minimum entertaining for you out there so you could laugh at us. <laughs> oh, it's What do you got to tell us? So many things to say.